Hab's just retrieved the instructions so we can work out what is where. Is my name in that book so I'm, bag? So I'm, I'm looking and seeing if you're in this book. Oh, my name's in the book. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. I've officially made it. I can retire happy now. Welcome to today's vlog and welcome to MCM London Comic Con May 2019. I'm, I'm not there yet, I'm still on the platform at Peterborough train station. I am about to head down to London. I'm there for all three days. This is going to be the start of a three day Comic Con playlist. Um, I'm going down there to meet up with Pab. We've got today and tomorrow in the convention. Sunday, we're doing a world first neurodiversity panel. It's going to be me. The Aspie World, Con Award, Holly Vlogs doing a, a panel on neurodiversity, subtitled The Rise of Autism Online. There's never been anything like that done before at a mainstream convention of this stature. London Comic Con gets 100,000 attendees across the weekend. This is a big deal and a big step forward in autism awareness. But that's Sunday. Today is all about fun. We're going to go around, have a look to see what's going on at Comic-Con this year. We've got the Marvel escape room experience thing booked for this afternoon as well. That have sorted out for me, so hopefully I'm going to show you some of that. And just see what's going on down at Comic-Con this year. My train is due in a minute. It's not that long. I'm going out. Wait. And hopefully it goes without saying that if you have found the channel new today because you're searching for stuff about Comic Con and you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on. We do go to all of the major conventions throughout the year, both London Comic Cons, both Birmingham Comic Cons, we go to Summer in the City, we have Winter in the City, VidCon, so much stuff going on here on the channel in addition to our normal daily family vlogs. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up as well. I've now made it to London and most importantly I found a pub and we're now heading over to our hotel to get rid of these stupid suitcases. One issue of course is I think the entire trip is ruined because Pab's not wearing a Norman shirt. I put one on especially for you. Yeah. Very hot in this shirt. But I'm wearing it because I knew I was seeing Pab and now here he is gallivanting around in a t-shirt like he's a southerner. And I'm back in my second home of Stratford getting ready to dump our stuff at the usual hotel right next to Stratford International train station. That was the train we were just on. We are mere moments away from Comic Con now. Just a quick message for Anna to show I'm not an irresponsible monster just before we go on holiday. Three pound meal deal for lunch. That's living. And we're in couple of hours after opening but it's lovely and quiet Friday lunchtime look I can move from side to side not bang into anybody there was two people in the cash machine queue and we just walked straight up this this is convention life at its best when nobody's here come in and made a beeline for the studio area the summer in the city winter in the city area just so that I can remind everybody if you are watching this video when it first comes out that's my panel on Sunday and this is the studio stage where we'll be doing the panel. So we're kind of in the corner next to the moving cinema. I hope there's going to be more than just that little green couch because that will put me on. The other three are going to have to stand. because going into the Funko thing now is a big mistake because I'm going to want to buy stuff in there which I'm then going to have to carry around for the rest of the day and then carry around again on Sunday but I'll be 
obviously I'm going in because I want all of the exclusives even though I've been told not to buy any. Now wondering how much Anna will shout me if I spend £65 on a Captain Marvel handbag for me. It's very sad, it seems the exclusives that I would have wanted. Yeah. No one else, the Captain America on the t-shirt, aren't currently in here. They tend to do this thing throughout the weekend where they constantly recycle stuff, bring it out, but if you ask for it they won't go out the back and fetch you one, so you kind of, it's luck of the draw when you come in to get the one that you're after. So I might pop in again to this section over the course of the weekend. It's probably not the worst thing that it's not here, I've got to Because I could do without spending the money and I could do without carrying them around all weekend. But you've got to admit, a glow in the dark pop with t shirt is just cool. Initial quick lap of the first haul done, so that's got all the comic stuff in there to create stuff, um, and a lot of the anime and manga stuff. We're now coming over the other side where we've got gaming and probably other stuff, movie stuff I haven't seen yet, so I guess that's over here. I think Pab's just retrieved the instructions so we can work out what is where. Is my name in that book? So I'm, so I'm, I'm looking then to see if you're in this book. If I'm in that book, I'll sign it for you because it'll treat for you. He seems delighted. Oh, my name's in the book. Hold on, we've got to focus. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. I've officially made it. I can retire happy now. Pab's now having a fanboy moment at an Overwatch thing made out of Lego. It means nothing to me. I've played Overwatch once in my life. But he's loving it. Yeah. Well, I've just dragged Pab on a 20 minute walk around the show floor, our second lap of the day, uh, so that we could refilm it in 360. I'm hoping that 360 footage will serve two purposes. Firstly, should allow me to pull some B-roll out there that I've already used in this video. Secondly, I'm hoping to upload it as an actual 360 degree video, as a separate video, so you can kind of move around on the screen, explore Comic Con for yourselves. I've pretty much covered everything. I didn't go up and down every single aisle, but there should be plenty there. For those of you who've never been before, or perhaps have missed this one, but usually come, you should get the gist of the event. It is now nearly two o'clock. We've got about two hours until we're booked into the, what is this Avengers thing called? Avengers Station. Avengers Station, which is, what is it? Is it like an escape room thing? Is that no. what it is? Or, I don't know. No, it's just a thing that's out the back. Uh, it's been there for ages, like a year at least. So we're going, we're going to do that at four o'clock. So now we're going to have a more detailed moot around the show and uh, see what bits and pieces we can lay our dirty little fingers on. We've just checked in with the Funko stand again. Still haven't got the ones that I'm after. I don't know if they're just bringing them out in the morning each day, which is rubbish because I'm not going to be here at the start of each day, or if we're just missing it when they bring them out during the day. But still no Captain America, still no Thanos ones, which means my money is still firmly in my pocket, which in the grand scheme of things is a bonus. Just done a quick refueling stop. No Starbucks in here, very sad, but coffee, Costa coffee ice lattes are perfectly acceptable. We're now heading to the cinema truck where we're going to watch episode one of a new TV show called The Boys, which is based on a comic by Garth Ennis, did you say? Yeah. Not read the comic, but like his other stuff. So we're going to go and check that out, and that should give us enough time to watch that, and then head down to the Marvel thing afterwards, which is splendid. Well, just watched episode one of The Boys in there, which is out in July, I think. I have a poster. July 26th. That was awesome. Very, very cool. Um, superhero, just a superhero thing, but with a twist. We'll definitely be checking out on Amazon Prime when that starts in July. But now I've got two jobs to do. I've got to work out what to do with this poster for the rest of the weekend. And we now have to rush down to the Marvel thing, which is the other end of the XL, where we're supposed to be at four o'clock. What time is it now? Five past. Five past four. Wow, okay. We need to get a move on. Just hanging out with a 
load of Iron Man suits. Why wouldn't I be? This exhibition is already very, very cool. So this is a separate thing from Comic-Con. It's not part of Comic-Con. This is a permanent exhibit here in the XL. Or I say semi-permanent, I guess. It's been here a while. It's going to be here for a while, yeah. It's not part of Comic-Con. Pay extra to get in. But it's awesome. It's got all the Iron Man suits. Well, we've just officially joined the Avengers, and our reward for doing so is the gift shop. Well, I bet you wish you were in the Avengers too, but you're not. Me and Pab are Avengers. We just defeated Ultron, and because you had to touch an old iPod to do it, you're now cleaning yourself. The Avengers aren't you? always stay clean and healthy. <laughs> that was the number one rule they told us about. Um, it is now quarter five. So we're going to head back into the convention briefly. I want to buy the book for the TV show that we watched before. We saw it just before we went in. So I'm going to go and buy volume one of that because the, the TV show was awesome and I now want to read the book. And then uh, I think we need to be arranging some food at some point soon. I'm a hungry man. I think this is the latest in the day I've ever actually been inside the convention. It, this is absolutely the time to come. There's so few people in here. Just wandering around, full speed. No worries of collision. This is awesome. Come in the evenings, folks. It's open till seven. Well, they've definitely restocked the game because some of the ones that were sold out earlier are back in at the Funko place. But still no sign of Thanos or the Captain America T-shirt set. I'll try again tomorrow. Uh, if you remember on yesterday's vlog, one of the activities I started to do towards the end of it was try and find Andy a wallet to take to Disney. Mission accomplished. Mario Kart. That's got to go down well with him, surely. But Andy has a wallet. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to find the comic book I wanted to buy earlier. Book purchased. I think we're about done in here for today. I'm trying to go and find something to eat. We didn't come straight for food, we remembered we hadn't checked into our hotel yet. We now have double bed for Kev, child's bed for Pab. And that's the way it should be. We are finally now on the hunt for food in the Westfield Shopping Centre. I think we've decided we want pizza. There is multiple pizza options in here. We've found Pizza Express. We're now looking for Pizza Hut. What's the best pizza, boys and girls? Let me know down in the comments. Well, we found Pizza Hut, but it was just a little Pizza Hut Express with nowhere to sit down and eat. We're grown up. We want to be in a restaurant. We want to sit down. So we're coming back to Pizza Express. We're making the most of not having Anna the cheese hipster with us, which is why we want pizza, because obviously we can't have pizza when Anna's with us. Because she can't have cheese. Or gluten, so she can't have the base either. She doesn't eat a lot in pizza places. Pizza consumed. Not been, not been to Pizza Express for years. That was awesome. Um, job now. Cookie dough, because we like cookie dough. Coffee, supplies for the room from the supermarket. And then we're going to record the podcast in our room to make sure that still gets out. Because, you know, we're conscientious podcasters. Cookie dough. And we're back in the hotel room. We've just recorded the podcast. So as ever, um, there will be a podcast out already when you see this video. It's just me and Pab. So if you listen for Anna and Sheepdog, come back next week. Uh, but if you like me and Pab, you can listen to this one by searching for MGP or Mature Gamer Podcast anywhere you normally get podcasts from, whether that be Spotify or um, Spreaker or iTunes or wherever else. And uh, yeah, we talked a lot about this video that you've just watched about what we did at Comic-Con. So if you want a more in-depth look at our opinions of the event, they're all over on the podcast. So even if you never plan on listening again or you're not into video games, if you've watched this far into a Comic-Con video, you should probably go and check the podcast out too. I'll leave a description to it. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. But for now, I'm going to end this vlog because I've got lots of editing to do now before I start snoring and keeping Pab awake all night. So I will say goodbye to you all. There is more Comic-Con stuff tomorrow and the next day as well. And don't forget, if you are going to be at Comic-Con on Sunday, come along to the studio stage, 2 p.m., for the panel that we're doing, the Neurodiversity panel, with the Aspie World, Connor Ward, Holly Vlogs. It's going to be 
awesome and uh, now we've seen that it's only 50 seats I want two buttocks on each seat plus people standing so that they put us on a bigger stage next year um, if you have enjoyed this vlog please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs thank you very much for watching say goodbye Pab bye bye